Hello students, welcome to my channel Incredible Fitness Quotient. This is part 2 of excitation contraction coupling and molecular basis of muscle contraction. Now what is the sarcotubular system? Inside the muscle fibers, fibrils they are surrounded by membranous structure and they are known as sarcotubular system. As you can see in the diagram, it consists of sarcoplasmic reticulum system, transverse T-tubule and again sarcoplasmic reticular system forming the triad. Let's see detail about the receptors and the channel proteins which are present in the sarcotubular system. As shown in the diagram, this is sarcolemma, this is sarcoplasm, this is your T-tubule and these are the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So the T-tubule, it has a modified voltage sensitive calcium channel which is also known as dihydropyridine receptor. It is a L type of calcium channel. The name given to it is because it is blocked by the drug dihydropyridine. Now these are L type of calcium channels. They are, they are also known as a voltage sensor channels. The terminal portion of the cisternae, they have the receptor which is known as rhinodine receptor. Now these receptor, they bind to the plant alkaloid rhinodine hence they are named as rhinodine receptor and they mainly act as a calcium release channel there is also calcium ATPase which are present over the membrane of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and they pump back calcium into the sarcoplasmic reticulum what are the role of this receptor in the calcium flux as soon as the act action potential it arrives into the t-tubule it gets transmitted deep into the t-tubule and there is opening of the voltage gated channels which are present over the dihydropyridine receptor as a result the conformation change occur over the rhinodine receptor and result into the release of the calcium now once calcium is released it goes and binds to the troponin c and results in the muscle contraction at the same time there is auto activation of calcium ATPase that pumps calcium from the sarcoplasm into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Now this decrease in the sarcoplasmic uh, calcium concentration results in the relaxation of muscle. So these are the steps involved in the muscle contraction and relaxation. Thanks for watching my videos.